Okay, something's weird. <laughs> it's already telling me. Poor connection, something. I hope we're good. Are we here? Are we live? <laughs> Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. All right. It says I am. Okay. Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. I swear technology just drives me ever living crazy. Just crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. A little commercial break. <laughs> I forgot to set my text. I had to send my text. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Karen Wolf here in the art studio. Take two. Um, I am going to do something very exciting that I have been wanting to do. Um, first of all, I wanted to stencil it. Hey, Carrie. Um, oh, that was, she was answering my text. I thought she was on here. Um, I wanted to stencil this on here. Uh, Y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's on. I need to get back over here on my page and see on my, oops, dropping stuff in the floor. I need to get on here so I can see you on my, um, uh, iPad. Um, but what I wanted to do was stencil it on. Um, I was going to make a stencil with my Cricut and I couldn't get it to work. I just could not get it to work. So, um, I'm making a funny face. Facebook always catches me with the funny faces. Um, so what I did was I came up with another idea. So I'm going to show you another idea. Hey, Chuska. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So, um, y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see that you're on here. Um, and... Um, hopefully that won't fall. <laughs> and what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to paint, uh, the flowers feed the soul. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to transfer, um, the letters on here, how I transferred the letters on and how we can, uh, get that on the box. What this is, um, is a, looks like paint something's peeling off of it right there. It don't matter. Um, I bought this little box, just a wooden box, and it just has some stuff in it, um, little flowery things that I stuck in there, <laughs> just, for, just to take a picture of it for you guys, uh, some staging material, um, <laughs> but I bought this box at Michael's. I was at Michael's one day, and I just walking through, and I walked by, and I saw this box in another one uh, that was like a brown color. And I thought, oh, that'd be cute with something painted on it. So everyone's always liking the wood, um, me to paint something on wood since I paint on canvas all the time <laughs> back here. Um, it's nice to break it up a little bit and paint on wood. Do y'all like to paint on wood? You like stuff painted on wood? Uh, if you do, um, let me know in the comments uh, if you like to paint on wood or if you just like to paint on canvas, but canvas, canvas or wood or both, both. I love everything. Um, hey, Barbara and Sarah. Hello, hello. Um, I like to paint on everything. Um, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I certainly paint on canvas a lot on here, but uh, I like to paint on wood. I used to paint on slate a lot. I used to paint murals. Um, just glass. Everything. Ornaments. I painted ornaments for a very long time. Uh, those are fun. Uh, challenging. Uh, rewarding. Um, what else? There's lots of things that you can paint on. Um, but this evening, what I wanted to do was show you, I, like I said, I bought this box at Michael's uh, a few weeks back. Gosh, I don't know uh, how long it's been. There's a video on here of me showing you uh, how to paint this side. I painted this side. Uh, live. This side I'd already pre-painted, but this side over here I painted it live here on uh, on Facebook. It's out on YouTube also, uh, I believe, because uh, I'm on YouTube also. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. I don't do lives on Instagram. Um, I've done one. I may start doing that, um, but I can't figure it out. It's uh, kind of difficult. So, uh, Y'all see me okay? I'm not lagging or anything. Please tell me no that I'm not lagging. Um, but the video's out there to show you how to do this part of it. 
And then today I'm going to show you how to do that part of it, this part of it. Flowers feed the soul. So what I did, like I said, I was, I was going to use a stencil. I was going to make a stencil with my Cricut. And um, usually, I mean, that, you know, you've done stencils before. You take and it has the, the holes cut out and then you put the stencil on and then you, um, you know, pounce it with the sponge. And we'll do that. We'll do that too one day. But today we're doing it a different way. So what I did was I couldn't get a stencil, so I decided I was going to show you a different way to do this. So I went on my computer and I printed off the, the uh, saying that I wanted to put on my box, Flowers Feed the Soul. That was one of the painters had uh, said that they liked that saying, and I picked that one. And it fits on here nicely in the middle. Flowers Feed the Soul fits right in there nicely. So I took... And printed it off the size that I wanted it in the font that I wanted it and I made these all caps because I thought that looked cool and then feed the soul and I did capitalize the S I debated on whether to capitalize the F but you can do it however you want you can have a whole different saying if you want um, so that's what I did is I printed it off on this piece of paper if you don't have a printer and you can't print it off you can freehand write it on the piece of paper or you can um, maybe, you know, I don't know, if you cut it out from a magazine, I mean, that might, I don't know, that's kind of, is that considered copyright and first one? I don't know. But um, <clears throat> don't do that. Don't copyright. Please don't do that. But anyways, I printed it off, printed the font that I wanted, Flowers Feed the Soul, and I just printed it on a piece of paper. So then, if you want to draw, like I said, you can just, if you've got really good handwriting, you can write it on there or whatever. Um, so then I took a piece of um, graphite paper. This is all taped together. I probably have a small one somewhere. Um, you take a piece of graphite paper, just a small piece, um, and put it on the box. Let me pull you guys over here so you can see what I'm doing. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Since I'm moving down over here, I'm going to move you down over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So, I took the, um, oh, there's a paintbrush in there. How about that? never know what you're going to find around here. So I took the graphite paper and I put it graphite side down. I took my paper that I wanted to put on there. I put it in the on the box where I wanted it to be. I centered it in between the flowers where I wanted it in between the flowers there. Just kind of look to see where I wanted it. Then I took the graphite paper and I put it down in between. And hold that on there firm and don't move it. You can't move it. Once you put it on there and you start writing, you gotta leave it and you can't move it. Okay. So this is this is just another way of transferring onto a box, a piece of wood, a whatever you're you can do it on canvas if you're painting on canvas and you wanna um so then you just trace the word. Now this one is very thin and it's not a thick, uh, the word, the letters aren't like, you know, block or anything, but if they were, you would just trace around the outside edge of the word so that it showed up on your, um, the whole thing showed up on your page. Like if your, if your word was, um, you know what I mean, like if it was like that, you would trace all the way, oops, that's not square, you would trace all the way around your letter, okay? So there's how you would do that. But since mine is just a, you know, single line, I don't have to do that. But if that was the case, then you would trace around the whole thing. 
All right, so now that I've got this transferred on my box, then I'm gonna take a small paintbrush, which you know, guys, <laughs> I just realized when I was doing this today that I evidently don't use small paintbrushes much anymore because they're all frizzle frazzled out. The ends of them are um, all frazzly, frizzly, frazzled, frazzled. Um, so it's gonna be hard for me to find one that's gonna work. Um, Cause I used to paint with little tiny brushes when I did um, portrait paintings and stuff like that to paint like little, little stuff. If y'all have any questions, shout out. Hi, Nancy. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Appreciate y'all being on here. Y'all say hey when you jump on so I can see who's on. It says there's more people on than I can see, so not sure what the deal is on that. You know, technology works about half the time. Okay, so then I'm going to take the color, whatever color I want my letters to be. Uh, I'm using, since I have a little bit of purples and some browns in here, I'm not going to use black. I was going to use black, but I think I'm going to use black, uh, a dark brown and purple and see how I like that. You can paint it whatever color that you like. Hopefully my paintbrush is tiny enough. You get you a little tiny paintbrush, usually one that's like a, on mine that I'm doing, like a, a zero, five zero, or zero, uh, or one, zero one, something like that. Really little ones, little tiny. See how little, I don't know if you guys can see that. Those are little, little, little. But they need to be in better shape than mine are. Mine are more plumb out. This one is a zero, but I'm I'm not sure if it's going to be small enough. So I'm just getting my paint. I'm getting it a little bit wet. I'm taking my brush, and I'm getting it a little bit wet. Um, because I want it to be, um, to flow smoothly uh, and more ink-like across the surface and I don't want it to hesitate. I want it to be um, nice and smooth. All right, so then I'm going to go here and I'm just, can you all see that? I'm just drawing over what I just wrote. Don't push real hard. Don't push real hard because if you do, uh, it will make a fat line. See how that line was a little bit fat. And you may need to go over it more than once if your paint is transparent. See, my paintbrush isn't the greatest. So, but you get the idea. It gives you a guide, like, um, you know, to, to copy over so that you have a way to write what you want on here, but you're not freehanding it. I know a lot of people just don't like their handwriting. So this helps you so that you don't have to to worry about that. And all I'm doing when my hand disappears with the brush is I'm going over and reloading. So if you ever, do you ever have an opportunity where you, you wanna, you know, you wanna put some script on something, you wanna Put some words, maybe a, you know, um, a, a song out of a, you know, a hymnal or something, like you want the title of it to be, or some phrase, uh, or what do you call it, verse, <laughs> phrase, or um, like I'm doing here, flowers feed the soul, 
just something real cute. Um, something that means something to you and you want to put the words on your canvas or your piece of wood box like we're doing right here. But you just have to go slow and to some degree, if you go too slow, sometimes that's worse. It's not smooth. But you get the the idea is you're just tracing over what you drew on there. And there's that. And this is a little bit transparent, so once that dries, I can go back over it again and make it more uh, make it more solid. But isn't that cute? I mean, that is the coolest thing that is just so easy to transfer the letters on there. So if you want to go over it again, you just want to let it dry. You could take the hair dryer. Don't let the paper towel blow up on it like I just did and messed up my O. <clears throat> If you do that, you may have to just go over it with a little bit of white. I may have to just do that. Um, but like this right here, the O was a little transparent. I don't know about you guys, but good golly. My eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> My eyes are not as good as they used to be. It's hard to... See that a little bit. But see how I'm just making that a little bit darker, just a little bit more solid there. If need be. And there's that. So there's different, whoop. Boy, did I ever mess that up. There's different ways, and that's because I got in a hurry. Don't get in a hurry. Um, there's different ways of doing things, um, and that's just a different way. I mean, you can stencil, or you can transfer your, your drawing on there and do it that way. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to fix this little boo-boo that I did. Hopefully, it'll cover it up. But I just love that. And then sometimes, too, um, if you like things to be not so um, perfect and matchy-matchy, you can just uh, rough it up a little bit and make it so it's not so perfect. So all I did was took a little bit of white paint where that piece of paper towel went up there and landed on my thing. I just um, painted over that just with some white paint. It may take a couple coats to cover cover it up, but um, my background was white, so that's what I did there. But sometimes, uh, some folks don't like for things to be all matchy-matchy and perfect, and, and I really don't either. So you can kind of uh, rough things up a little bit. You can, um, you know, antique, antique the edge of that and take some of it over top of the words if you want to. But anyways, there's that. So pretty cool. Flowers feed the soul. That's what we ended up with. I just love that. And uh, several people were talking today online about taking, um, and I don't have any down here right off. I have some across the... Oh, look what I did. I had white paint on that, and I popped that right upside down on that. Um, uh, several people were talking about taking, like, a, a mason jars and putting them, <laughs> the mess I make, um, mason jars and putting those in uh, side of it, in inside of there, and, like, you could put flowers in them, uh, 
Some people had mason jars that were uh, painted uh, that you could set down in there. You could put candles down in there inside of that box um, or just greenery uh, like I had done. So, all right. And there that thing goes falling again. All right, so that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Did you all enjoy that little demonstration? I thought that that was um, pretty easy and fun um, that you could do that with no problem. All righty, and there's Violet, Amanda, and Stephanie. Hey, 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 thank you all so much for jumping on this evening and joining with me on this. I have been wanting to do this for weeks and just finally uh, grabbed a few minutes to um, over the weekend uh, to prepare for it. I was going, like I said, I had my uh, cricket out and was trying to make a stencil. It would just not, would not cooperate with me. Um, so I ended up um, just uh, doing it this way. So there you go. All right. And I had a couple of you this evening that jumped on here um, that uh, had received a text uh, from me. If you received your text, your community text, uh, that is a um, cool way for you guys to uh, jump in here and um, be able to join in on the live. So if you all are interested in that, um, it's a, just a text number. You just te text uh, Let's Paint uh, to this number, and then you're notified whenever I go live. Oh. Guys, I tell you, I'm making a mess. I got wet paint all over my feet. Um, but if <laughs> if you text Let's Paint to 304-245-9690, um, I'll send you a text before I go live, and then that way you won't miss a live. So I get on here and do some different things. This evening was just a simple demonstration of the uh, flowers feed the soul. But if you want to see more, uh, just... Uh, text the words let's paint to 304 25 or 245 9690 and then you'll uh, be able to jump on the um the, the wait list or not on the wait list listen to me on the text list and um <laughs> I don't want to paint off my toe uh you'll be on the text list and you'll be notified whenever I go live so that's there's that all right Oh, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. All right. I thought it was something fun and different, something cute. And like I said, you could paint it. Uh, I just chose this color. I don't know. It just kind of matched my browns, pulled my browns out here. You could have painted them red or whatever color that you want. Um, but I thought that it was a really cute idea. And when uh, one of the girls said she had one that she wanted to paint, she had the jars in there. But you could do uh, candles or greenery or uh, me. I'm always needing a little catch-all catch box to put, um, you know, stationery. Or uh, you could do um, just whatever. Different, you know, paper, pencils, um, a conglomeration of ideas. You could just do whatever. Um, lots of different things that you could do with that. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be doing some more things like this. Um, I'll try to get, um, like I said, I'll get some stencils and get my, um, if I can't get my Cricut together, I'll try to grab some stencils maybe um, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere, and we'll start doing some stenciling. I know Oh, Anna, you had mentioned that you were interested in that. And I think that it would be um, really cute. Like if you take um, a painting, this one doesn't have a big top blank on it. But if you had a, a painting that you had, you know, something more down low, uh, you could put some kind of a, you know, verse or little saying or something up the top. And that would be really cute. Just some, sometimes just a word. Uh, sometimes, you know, two or three words, um, nothing, nothing, you know, extravagant or great big or anything, but just a couple words on something, you know, uh, makes things, um, just adds a special touch, I think. So you all like that kind of thing, like stenciling in the words. I know there's some people do like painted prayers or, um, like, like I said, a verse, uh, of a song you could do, but that's a lot. That's, that's like a big stencil, um, but you could do, uh, some, 
some simple things, I think, that we could do. All right. So, if you all have, have any questions or anything to add to that, I'd be glad to answer your questions. I know that was pretty simple stuff. Um, that uh, didn't take any time at all. Um, the, the most difficult, or not, not the most difficult, but the thing that you might run into trouble with, maybe, would be not having a printer. Um, but like I said, you might be able to, you know, find something, maybe transfer from a magazine or something like that. You could do so that might work. All right. Okay. Well, I appreciate y'all jumping on here with me this evening. Thank you so much for that. You guys are great. Um, let's see. What do I have coming up? Anything coming up that I need to tell you all about? What is today? Just I hope you all had a great July 4th uh, weekend. We had a great time. That's always exciting around here. Um, Ripley um, has a huge 4th of July uh, parade and celebration uh, here in uh, Jackson County. They they go all out for that. So we went over there. Um, we just go earlier and earlier every year. We uh, were over there at like 9 or 9.30. No, we left at 9 or maybe 9.30 uh, to get over there to grab a spot to watch the parade. You have to go over there that early to, um, to get a spot because everybody marks off their area. Uh, she can't get in, you know, to park or anything like that. And um, it just seems like we go earlier every year. And the parade doesn't start till noon. So we were all saying they need to start the parade at 10 so it would be cooler because it was hotter and blue blazing, I thought. Um, but anyways, we went over there. The runners start at, I think, 11 or something like that. The runners go... Uh, they do a firecracker little, I don't know if it's even a mile. Uh, and they do that and finish up. And then the parade starts at noon. And the parade goes on forever. It was like an hour, over an hour. It was one thirty or 2 before the parade was over with. So the kids love it. It is a good, it's a big time. It's a, a tradition. So it's something that we do every year and we enjoy it. So um, I hope you guys did something and had fun. I know we heard a lot of firecrackers. Uh, firecrackers going off, uh, fireworks going off uh, here, around here. Uh, we didn't go watch them, but they were, you could hear them all around the neighborhood. So people get uh, into doing that and have fun with it. So I think my iPad's um, locked up or something. I don't know. Now I can't get it to come up at all. It's like it's stuck. Let's see if there's anything on here. No, I can't see comments on here. So I don't know why it does that. So if you guys are commenting, I'm sorry I can't see them. Um, but anyhow, I hope you all had a great time. Um, back to reality again, you know, this week we're back to... Uh, our normal stuff, and here we are. Um, but I did want to come on here and do that. I thought that was fun. So I'll come up with some um, some more cool ideas. We'll get on here and do that. We have, um, I just posted the July paintings. They are now on the website, the Fishing Gnome, um, the um, Sunflower, or not some, yeah, the Sunflower behind me. Uh, this one, the uh, Fishing Gnome, that's over here behind me. Uh, those are all posted on the, um, that one's posted on the website, available for you guys, and the mountains, and then uh, this one. So those are all on there, good to go, we're ready. Got those all ready for you guys to paint, so I hope you guys will be uh, interested in painting some of those. Those are fun. Um, i trying to think. It seems like I'm supposed to tell you about something else. I don't know. Um, the new studio, they're, they built, um, they're building the, uh, Davis Realty Building is going up. Uh, drove by yesterday and they were putting the garage, garage door on. Uh, the uh, side that we're on will have an entry walk door and then there's a garage door there too. Um, yeah, if it's nice, we'll just open that up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then they'll be doing the uh, electric and drywall 
uh, starting on that soon. So the building is coming together. They'll, they're putting things, uh, getting things going on. So it won't be long till uh, we'll be in there. So uh, it'll be myself. Um, I will be uh, doing the painting parties. Um, and my daughter will be in there, uh, will be splitting the lease space and it's on the, our space is on the first floor, um, and the back and I'll be doing paint parties and she'll be doing workout classes. So you can paint and work out. <laughs> so I hope you guys will be interested in joining in on that fun. That'll be fun. So lots of uh, lots of stuff, ha stuff happening. So, um, if you're interested in that, it won't be long. It won't be long. So thank you all so much. Hey, Lisa, good to see you on here. Thank you so much for joining. You know, the reason that I did not, uh, rec I recognized, kind of recognized your name. And then of course, when you said Ad Adirondack, uh, I definitely, uh, remembered that. Um, but, your the middle name wasn't on there that, and that's how I, I recognized you on Facebook was your the middle part the uh what I can't pronounce uh Bovier I'm not sure but anyways uh I did recognize your name from uh before so it's good to see you back on here glad to have you glad to have all of you I appreciate each and every one of you you guys are great uh lots of um Lots of fun stuff happening here online and uh, will be happening in the art studio. So, um, you guys are why I do this. So, uh, keep keep on a coming, keep on a coming and spread the word and let your, you know, those who are possibly interested in uh, painting uh, also um, maybe let them know about it. Maybe there's somebody out there that uh, you can think of that uh, would benefit from this as well. So, um, you never know. So we all need to find that, uh, you know, fun, joy, uh, special feeling that you get from painting. It's therapy guys. I tell you that all the time. Painting is therapy. It makes us feel good and everybody needs to feel good. Uh, there's just so much going on, uh, that, uh, in our lives that when we paint, uh, Sarah, I, I think you had mentioned it. Um, it takes your mind off of things for a while. It just takes, it just takes you away. Just makes you, um, takes you to a happy place. <laughs> so there. All right. Well, I won't keep you. Uh, you all, um, try this, uh, trick. The flowers feed the soul is what I did, but you guys can do whatever it is that you want to put on there. Um, just, uh, stencil it on, uh, take the paper print it off, whatever it is that you want to stencil on. Put your graphite paper on first. Put your graphite paper on first. If I could get it to work. And then put your uh, stencil, uh, draw that, trace that on, take it off, and then paint, uh, paint it on, and there you go. So easy easy stuff and that's just so that you don't have to freehand it if you want to freehand it you go right for it <laughs> all right thank you all so much god bless you take care um i'll see you back on here again uh we'll do something uh fun or you know something that you'll learn something or something if there's something that you want to see just give me a shout out i'll be glad to um i'll be glad to do it for you so, thank you all so much. Take care. I'll see you back on here again soon. Thank you. Hey, Regina. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You caught the tail end. Bye-bye.